Hello everyone. Today we have a post World War II radio or a, a shortwave receiver on the bench. This is the 7TS190 by Silver. This big selector here has been changed to something similar because I have lost the original um, switch. Uh, 7TS um, uh, stands for seven transistors used. The back cover has been ruined by the some battery leak, major one. Uh, apparently the plastic is broken and the battery compartment is pretty useless. Uh, what remains here uh, from the big sticker is kind of the uh, diagram, the high level diagram of the circuit and uh, the model now you can see uh, better that uh, this battery convertible has been um, ruined and what I can remember back in the days that I have uh, counted the batteries and I came up with a solution like putting a 9 volt um, clip over here um, and a 9 volt uh, standard battery to operate the radio because it's it isn't fully working um, condition so that's what I did uh, it's been years ever since this operation and this mod and um, I just thought I should go over some new mod uh, taking advantage of this uh, uh, side you can see the first side has the earphone jack and the other side has the external antenna uh, single uh, pin and as you can see, very sophisticated, the antenna internally goes around and around the case. That's how they did it back in the day. Very smart and very efficient. So you can place your external antenna um, right over here and you can get short wave um, for very, very far dis uh, from very, very far distances. So the idea is to go underneath the uh, earphone um, jack and drill a uh, little hole and I can get external power so I can remove the, the battery from inside the uh, uh, radio and for this particular mod we're gonna be using uh, this single jack I'm guessing it will be right there somewhere under under the, um, uh, the earphone jack and I'm going to be using a mono uh, jack, the, fee, the the male type, to get the power in, just like this. So that's the whole idea. And um, as I was feeling a bit lazy, I'm going to be using the um, clip that I had placed there uh, several years ago, uh, which actually goes the black and the red wires are going underneath the board. I'm going to be about be bothered with this. I'm not going to remove the the board again. Uh, instead, I'm going to be using another clip from my spares uh, to fit it onto the other clip and take power uh, from that point. Uh, those can be really uh, tied uh, together like this. And on the other side, I will take the positive and negative to get the power um, inside the radio from the socket I'm going to be using um, shortly um, drilling on the side and putting the socket right there I guess and then feeding the power using the um, mono jack um, yeah, from the power supply now, if you are familiar with um, Atari kind of uh, power supplies, the the one which gives uh, 9 volts DC um, using the mono jack, like uh, the one we're going to be using, like this one, then you're set to go. You can use your Atari style, um, your Atari uh, like power supply and uh, feed the radio. It's the same thing like the one we're going to be fixing uh, here today. So what I'm going to do is um, to check ground and uh, the positive 
points um, using my multimeter set to the buzzer so I, I can uh, detect continuity and understand which is which um, in order to solder the black and the red wires onto the, the socket so we can see um, what's the right way to connect it, right? So I skipped the part of drilling because it's a simple thing to do and the uh, soldering of the two points onto the socket is also something that is pretty straightforward. Um, now you can see the final product here. We have the new socket underneath the existing one for the earphones and here we can connect our mono jack feeding 9 volts um, again if you already have something like the Atari uh, power supply it will do the job and we can listen to our music um, the box, the uh, case I mean um, is not in great shape uh, I remember that from back in the day when I first uh, for the first time repaired this thing but I love old radios and uh, it's worth it all the way it has a uh, short wave 1, short wave 2 and um, medium wave um, to listen to radio stations from very long distances and abroad and um, yeah I like those radios very much and um, I'm trying to do everything that I can uh, to bring them back to life and restore them you can follow this mod uh, for every radio or other equipment that you might have from the past um, and uh, yeah, do this little mod and give power from an external power supply and uh, get rid of the batteries which is pretty smart thanks for watching guys, uh, consider subscribing I hope you enjoyed this little mod and gave you ideas uh, for your own mods I'll be catching you with another uh, video soon um, I assume Silver was uh, one of the best and one of the most popular um, electric corporations back in Japan in the 60s and the 70s um, I think it was Nagoya um, the city uh, that it was based I can't remember really well but anyways yeah thanks for watching and um, consider subscribing and thank you very very much bye